So this week, Ubisoft are the golden goose that keeps on giving more crazy news stories this week. As their stock price continues to fall, new allegations have emerged from minority shareholders in the company, accusing the Golemont brothers, the two brothers who are both founders and own some of the most shares in the company, of intentionally manipulating the stock price. Today, a letter published by Jura Krupa of Slovakian hedge fund AJ Investment and Partners accuses the brothers of intentionally tanking the company in order to buy back shares of it at a lower price in order to take control of the company. Now, we've seen scandals involving finance and gaming collide before, especially, you know, back when NFTs were a thing. But this looks to be a potential scandal of an entirely different level, because essentially what the brothers that run Ubisoft are being accused of is stock manipulation. So if you watch my last video on Ubisoft and the release of Star Wars Outlaws, one of the things I mentioned was that far from the stock price just crashing over the release of the failed Star Wars Outlaws game, in fact, the stock price has been really decreasing since 2018 with several big dips over the past few years. And today, AJ Investments is giving us their explanation as to why the stock price just keeps on dropping. Now, normally investors in a company have every reason to keep the stock price high because it generally benefits them. And the way to keep your stock price high is to increase investor confidence in your company. In the case of a AAA studio like Ubisoft, that's by releasing really good games that everyone loves and enjoys and buys like crazy, right? But the allegation made by some of their investors goes something like this. Back in September of 2022, Tencent, yes, that Tencent that owns everything, including Riot Games, invests 300 million euros in the Gulliman Brothers Limited Holding Company. That's the two founders and owners of Ubisoft. Immediately after that, they point to the fact that Ubisoft's share price begins to decline rapidly. At the same time, the Brothers Holding Company that just received a huge 300 million euro investment from Tencent begins buying shares in the company they already owned a bit of, Ubisoft but these purchases are coming at a dramatically lower price than they would have mere months before. The minority investors also point out that this does not match the general trend of the industry. In fact, if we look back, as I mentioned in my last video, upon the general computer game industry, a lot of them had huge spikes of success during 2021 and 2022 due to issues surrounding the pandemic with a lot of people still staying home and playing games. Meanwhile, Ubisoft stock price just continued to plummet through 2021 to 2022 and still on to this point today. The situation has gotten so dire that the 70% of minority shareholders in the company appear to be banding together to try to seize control of Ubisoft from the brothers who they believe are tanking the company in order to purchase it at a cheap price. Now, when you put the story like that, it could come across as a potentially dodgy, perhaps allegedly illegal activity on the part of the holding company, depending upon how things play out. It's a rather strong allegation on the part of the minority shareholders. After all, you are not allowed to intentionally undermine investor confidence in order to buy something at a cheaper price. And from the financial side of things, we'll have to see where this all goes. Does the European financial authorities get involved? What do the minority investors do? That will all pan out in time. And we have to also put a lot of alleged leads before everything, because after all, this is an allegation made by the minority shareholders who have a vested interest in the share price going up when right now it's going down very, very fast. One of the things the minority shareholders say that I think is absolutely false is they say that after Star Wars Outlaws got a 7 out of 10 from IGN, which they call a good rating, but we as gamers know a 7 out of 10 is a death sentence from IGN, that in fact their stock price should have gone up due to the success of Outlaws. This isn't true, but a lot of other points the investors make are very interesting. 
In fact, one point they made I think is really great. The investors point out that Prince of Persia is one of the most beloved gaming franchises of all time. And I think if you are the kind of person that watches gaming commentary videos, you probably agree that it is. I freaking love the Prince of Persia series. Uh, the old Prince of Persia game, especially um, the uh, PS2 original. Uh, PS2 remake was awesome. It's an amazing franchise. And one of the things they accuse Ubisoft of is intentionally sleeping on it to hold on to the IP, be able to buy out the company and own the IP, but not to produce anything with the IP because that will raise the stock price, which is really fascinating. But then if we as gamers take a speculative, allegedly step forward beyond what even the investors are talking about, because let's assume that we know a little bit more about games and the gaming community than investors do, you start to look at the female leads character model in Star Wars Outlaws. You start to look at the drama surrounding Assassin's Creed Shadows. You start to ask yourself about the Ubisoft launcher and its continual performance problems that have hurt the company amongst gamers with bad reviews on multiple sites for the past four or five years. You start to ask yourself, could Ubisoft really have made the lead character in Outlaws look like that without knowing people were going to make fun of it? You ask yourself, could they really release a game with combat as droll and boring as Outlaws without rethinking it, maybe putting it back to the drawing board for six months to a year? You just got to ask yourself. You got to ask yourself, could they have been aware that people weren't going to respond very well to the main character of an Assassin's Creed franchise being a black samurai and that maybe there might be people in Japan or other communities that might get offended by this? Because remember what I said at the opening of this video, in the end, share price is just a measure of investor confidence. And if investors become unconfident because a lot of drama and media surrounding the company is negative, well, the share price is going to go down. It's not just based off sales from the last quarter. Obviously, this is all very speculative, but it is one of the most interesting dramas in gaming that we've seen recently. And with this letter just being published today as the release of this video, we're going to have to see where things go. But it is it is really something where we're going to see some drama uh, in Ubisoft over the next three to six months. And if the release of Assassin's Creed Shadows goes the way that uh, Outlaws is gone, it's going to be interesting to see what happens to a 2 billion euro company. And until then, I'll keep you updated on it. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I cover gaming, media, and news, and whatever interests me in the nerd media space. So like and subscribe because the dopamine hits really keep me going as a small channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next video because I know I'm gonna do another one on this topic because I don't think there's any way that this situation can be resolved without further drama happening. Especially because I think we all know, I'm, I'm, I think we all know that Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to have a really rocky time when it launches. So I'll see you then. Peace.